started here, Satan's eating. Watch this. Satan. Now we're not talking, this is Satan's eating now, right? Satan's eating now. That was the Eden, you know, 6,000 years ago where Adam and Eve. Now we're talking about Satan's eating now. What's Satan doing? Again, he's establishing his kingdom like he tried to establish it up in heaven, right? And he's got followers. He's got angels that are believing his lie and they are following him. Where are they at? They're here too. What are they doing? They're inhabiting people's body, giving them a nature, Brother Ram said. Now watch this. Satan establishing his kingdom in the earth. That's exactly what he's doing it for. He wants to establish his own kingdom. Now watch how Brother Ram types this. As a businessman that's not a Christian, he said he'll work every scheme he can to make you see something the wrong way. That's right. That's what the devil's doing. Yep. They will work every scheme to try to get you to see mistakes in this message. Right. What is doing it? Falling angels. They fell from their first estate. Yes. They fell from perfection and wanted something better than what Michael had. And they believed a lie to right. do it. Amen. Amen. And now they're here. And they're anointing the people. Amen. And Brother Ram said it's the greatest battle that yes. ever was fought. And it's in your mind. Yes. And we have a right to choose. We can believe that lie of yes. 2 Thessalonians. He said, let no man deceive you. Amen. 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 Can we read it? Let's, let's go. We're going to. Yes. 2 Thessalonians. Okay, I'm jumping all over the place here. Jump over. <laughs> That's all right. I don't know if I have it. Can you read it, Brother Toko? I've got a file. I'm trying to find something else. That's not good. Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians. <laughs> And we'll stop. I've got about five more minutes. Listen to this. Let no man deceive you by any means. Amen. For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. Yeah. Okay, do you know what Brother Branham said that falling away was? See, it's a falling away again from perfection. Okay, because he calls that falling away apostasy. And that apostasy is a denial of the original faith which Malachi 4 came to restore. Amen. You follow me? That which is perfect has come. So it's here. And then Paul said, let no man deceive you for that day can't come except there come a falling away first. So the truth was restored. The word was revealed. The power of God was put here. And then fallen angels get back into it. They come in and anoint people and they take away from perfection by saying, He made a mistake here. He made a mistake here. He was a man here. He was a man here. What are they doing? Destroying your confidence in the perfect Word. That's what He did at the beginning. They took something that was perfect and they perverted it. You follow me? Okay. Now watch this. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. Let's go down to verse 7. He said, for the mystery, notice this, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Amen. Now what did Brother Branham show us that mystery of iniquity was? Amen. In the church ages. Remember, when Brother Branham was preaching the Word, after the seals was opened, he preached those great messages such as the unveiling of God. Yes. Right? And the God of this evil age. What is he doing? He's unveiling God. Saying, here he is, church. And he's also unveiling the devil. Amen. And said, this is Amen. Satan's evil. Amen? Amen. Then he preached these great messages, the invisible union. Yes. Woo! Yes. Hallelujah! The bride yes. uniting with that perfect word. Yes. It's an invisible union right. of the body of Christ. Oh, praise the Lord! Amen. 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 Now watch this. Verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity. That's the mystery that Satan worked in in the church ages. The mystery 
of iniquity. They didn't see that Antichrist spirit. Brother Branham in the seals, he said, no wonder I hated that thing so much. I hated it all my life. I preached against it. He said, but now the seals was open. He saw it running all through the scripture. He said, no wonder I hated that. No wonder I preached against the denominations, Amen. all these different things. It was a mystery. It was the mystery of iniquity. But he said, God also works in, in Timothy in, in, in uh, 1 Timothy 3.16. Great is the mystery of godliness. Yes. So you got the mystery of iniquity right. working in the church ages, but you also got the mystery of godliness. Yes. And it's called Christ is the mystery of God revealed. He came to reveal Himself first in Jesus Christ. Then He comes to get the preeminence. He comes to get a many-membered body. The fullness of the Godhead body comes down and we have access as a body of believer to the power, the Logos, the fullness of God which is in this Word. Amen. Great is the mystery of godliness. Great is the mystery of godliness. Isn't it great? Amen. Alright. 12 o'clock. Can I have five more minutes? Five more minutes. Amen. <laughs> we're not even getting into we're in phase one here. Okay. But we want to see the fallen angels. Alright? We're going to expose them here. Five more minutes. Brother Bram said, He'll work every scheme he can. Satan, remember this a being and all his little devils. In that other dimension that we're here. We're in one world, they're in another world. You can't see them. They can see you. Right? Those angels follow us. Right? Our angels follow us. And in that other dimension, Brother Branham called dimensions worlds. Okay? So in that other world or dimension, these evil spirits are there. And they're anointing. And they're anointing. Yes. And they're anointing. And they're inhabiting people. Yes. Giving them a nature against the Word. Right? Right? Amen. Right? right? Now watch this. Now we're closing. I, I, I just, now watch this. Brother Bram said he'll work every scheme he can. Talking about Satan to get you to see something wrong. And Satan's eating. He goes on. And he said, and that's why Satan has done this. And he has worked through the ministry to do it. Wow. Satan. It's working through the ministry. Remember, there's twins. Remember we went last couple weeks we showed the family war? Revelation causes war. Cain and Abel. Right? When Abel got the revelation that it was blood, it caused war with Cain. Yeah. And Brother Graham said, every church produces twins. Every revival produces twins. So now we've got the message. We've got the elect that are being perfected by the perfect message. The Christ. The one man message. No reasoning in it. It's the Word of God. Oh, but Brother Brandon made a mistake. Now fallen angels, the other side, other fivefold ministry. You've got a true and you've got a false. Right? Now these angels, these supernatural angels have come in into these people's body and given them a nature. And you can't see nothing but this flesh. But in them is a being speaking to you saying, mistake here, mistake here, mistake here, mistake here. Follow me. Follow me. Right? But the bride of Jesus Christ, which is a part of those spirits that rotated off of God, Amen. that never resisted. They resisted. Amen. The lie of the devil there. And they resisted now. They resisted now. They casting down imagination. Casting down reasoning. I don't know why, but I'll just say, it's thus saith the Lord. Amen. 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 We weren't deceived there. We won't be deceived here. Amen, Amen. Amen Brother Togo. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Two more. I'm closing. Amen. He's worked through the ministry to do it. In closing, Brother Branham said, No wonder, handwriting on the wall. He said, No wonder there's a falling away. Remember, Paul talked about it. apostasy. No wonder there's a falling away. He said, And what does the pastors know? They don't know what it, the cause of it. They are the cause of it. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Did you hear that? Falling away. Remember Paul said, let no man deceive you. Remember we went through how the first church age worked? Brother Bram said in the, in the, in, when he was preaching Ephesians church age, you've tried them which say they are apostles and are not and have found them liars. Right? Paul taught those Christians 
They took Paul's letters and they read them and they read them and they read them. And Paul said, let no man deceive you. Don't let no man deceive you. If an angel from heaven, oh, they came from heaven and they're still preaching the same gospel. They're believing a lie. But Paul said, even if an angel from heaven preaches something contrary to what I, me, Paul, the one man messenger at this day, amen? amen? Let him be accursed. That set the pattern. So now we've got our prophet, our Messiah. Amen. The fullness of the word came to the prophet in this day. And he gave us the word. So when somebody, some man, some minister, some apostle, some prophet, whoever they are, they say, I'm going to teach you, we say. Hallelujah. Let me take this prophet's word. Let me take the thinking man's filter. Yes, right. The thinking man. Let this mind, which was in Christ, yes. be in you. Yes. Let. You have to let it. Let this mind, which is in Christ, be in you. Who what? Thought it not robbery yes. to be equal That's right. with God. Oh, praise the so Lord. Where's deity dwell in church? Where's deity dwelling? In us. Right? In us. When, when that which is perfect has come, we have it. They're waiting on us, church. Come on, it's time to read the books. Get back to the tapes. Get back to the prayer meeting. Get back to the crying out to God. As Brother Branham said, less of the world and more of God. Amen. We will see the power of God Amen. work in our midst if we do what God said for us to do. Amen. But it's here. He's waiting on us. That which is perfect has come. Amen? Oh, praise the Lord. Can I read one more? Amen. Let's all stand. I'm going to finish reading the second Thessalonians, and we'll just have to pick this up later. Maybe another day. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> 2 Thessalonians 2, 7. I want you to hear what Brother Bram says about this in the first seal. He said, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. He said that Antichrist spirit was already beginning to work in that early age. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. He said, Only he who will now let, let it, will let until he be taken out of the way. You remember that, Brother Toko? Yes. Let me read this again. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he, listen to this closely, only he, Brother Branham said that was God, that letteth will let until he, the church, Christ, the bride, be taken out of the way. Notice how this is worded. She has become he. Amen. You hear it? Yes. Listen to this. Only he that will let it will now let. He, Brother Bram said, was God. Yes. Until he, he called it he, the church, yes. Christ, the bride, be taken out of the way. Amen. She became him. She became the word. Amen. Only he, God, will now let until he the church, the Christ, the bride be taken off of the earth. Amen. Amen. God bless you, saints. Amen. We're not a deceived people. We have that which is perfect. We have the perfect interpretation of the word with divine vindication. We need no man teach us, even though there's teachers in the church. We understand that. But we know the Holy Ghost, the teacher, God Himself, Amen. comes in and we're a part of His God. We're a part of His life. A part of His Spirit. That's the reason we can't be deceived because it's deity. Amen. And human flesh again. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm going to close. I'd like to go on and on. We're not on African time, but I wish we were. <laughs> Brother Toko said, if we go to Africa, they want you to preach four and five hours. Right, brother? Amen. And that would be good. We just need to take a trip and go to Africa. Amen. So love it. Amen. We can preach. I mean, not that we can't hear, right? We can have it. I'm not one to say, oh, we got to go here. to get No, no, no. We're fed right here. We have the Spirit of God right here. We have the power of the resurrection right here. Everything that we have need of is right here. Amen. God bless you, Brother Toko. 
praise the Lord. What a powerful message. Matthew 24, 24, the elect can never be deceived. The prophet said, the only way the devil can get to you, the only way he can get to you is to go by justification, sanctification, right. and baptism of the Holy Spirit. But then he becomes your brother. He can't do that. Hallelujah. So be assured, you can never be deceived because the control tower is in you. Amen. His word is in you. Amen. I am bound for the promised land. I am heaven bound. This earth is not my home. Amen. Oh, praise God. I am for the promised land.
Lisa to come pray for the offering and pray for the service. Christmas. Okay.